Hey guys, what's up? It's David, and we're playing 3D Dot Game Heroes. And uh, today I'm going to support the World Cup and be a striker as a, a little soccer ball player. Look at that. Look at that soccer ball. It's all square. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. But hey, it's all good. Um, yeah, so we're playing 3D Dot Game Heroes. We got uh, two little cyclopses. No, we have one little cyclops and one gigantic cyclops. And the gigantic one looks really, really mad, so we're gonna ignore it. We'll pick on the little one because it's little, because we can do that. Okay, so last time we left off, we had just conquered the desert temple, kinda. And now. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. That is awesome. Does my soccer ball even move around? Oh man, this is, this is so cool. What colors am I? I think I'm red, white, and blue, so I could be the US or. Or Russia, or the Czech Republic, I don't know, I, I don't even know what the Czech Republic's colors are. If they're red, white, and blue, that's super awesome. But what are we going to face? What shall our soccer player conquer today? Oh, with a shield. <laughs> what are, oh, a sand rock golem guy. Ooh, look at his hands, and his feet. Oh my gosh, he's huge. He's like a Gundam made of stone. oh my, it's huge. Okay, whoa, he has a laser beam eyes. Holy crap. Okay, so, um... Wow, okay, so my soccer player has a sword. I can attack him with my sword. And, uh, it's that simple. And lots of his little bits and pieces go everywhere. That's... Oh my gosh, he can direct... Oh, wow, so his his laser beam isn't just directed directly outward. It goes down and out and about. That is... Very impressive, I must say. I am impressed by your large hands, Mr. Golem. You're like... You're like the guy from uh, the never-ending story, the big, uh, the big rock dude. <laughs> oh man, that was that was an insane movie. Talk about a kids' movie on crack. You got it. Oh my gosh, your legs! What happened to your legs? I just... Oh man, now you have a shockwave. Wonder if I can guard against the shockwave. Oh man, that thing went right at me. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Don't hit me! Oh wait, I forgot. I got a hook shot in this world. It, it doesn't seem to be helping much, okay. <laughs> well, typically, you're supposed to use the item you gain in the game. Oh, sweet, our shield works against that. Against the boss. But, uh, dang, that comes right at me. But right now, it seems that my sword is my is my best option. And I don't mind that shield. Oh, wow, he missed one bit. Oh, it's easier to hit your hands, I think. Shield. Oh, I was out of your range. I was out of the range of your shockwave. Oh! Dang! How much life does that take out of me? I wonder if I can shield against that. I don't know. Well, well let's try again. Huh. I wonder if he... No, I, I didn't see him like, slow down or anything telling me where he was going to fire his laser. He's firing his lasers! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Okay. Um, so he fired down once. Maybe he'll fire across this time. Shockwave! Okay. Ugh. Sweet. Okay, now maybe he'll fire down this time. Or maybe I'll be completely wrong. We... Only time will tell. Oh, don't laser me, please! Oh, Dang, that didn't work. Man, I can only take a couple of those, can't I? That decreased my health, like, a lot. Yeah, and now he went down, but now he's going around, too? What? Oh, he got rid of one of his arms! You're the one-armed bandit! Oh my... Gee, mini Christmas. I do not know... Oh. Oh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Um, okay, so you're blocked now. I'm dead. Darn. So close. I need to think of a better strategy than running around and not... Not really... Let, let's see, try to laser me and I'll have my shield up. Oh. No, that doesn't work at all. Shield... Shield bad, not effective against lasers. It is a note, it is it is why the, the medieval age of swords and shields was eventually defeated by giant lasers. And uh, it's something your history books don't tell you, and probably for good reason, because it's complete bullcrap. Goodbye, arm. Oh, maybe his arm goes away. Like, how do you avoid that? He, like, targeted me, I think. Unless I ran right into it. I don't know. Okay. Reflect. No! <laughs> I cannot reflect the laser. Things without arms and legs are just kind of funny. Unless they're sad. But 
in video games, you're probably trying to kill them, so they're probably funny. Okay, there you go. No arms and legs. See that? He's blinking. He's blinking in the middle. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, no arms, no legs. You have a dot there. Hookshotting it is not doing anything for me. Oh. Oh. No! No! I won't be defeated. Not by the likes of you. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Stab and run. Stab and run. That's the prison strategy, and that's the strategy I'm going to use. Stab and run. Oh my gosh, he's targeting me! Ugh. Oh! Ugh. See, how do you avoid that? I don't know. I must ask myself in such a calm voice. Oh well. <laughs> Look at him, what are you doing? There's no one there. There's no one there to beat. Stop firing your lasers. Okay. I think I've kind of figured this out. Our big buddy Trousers likes to fire his lasers to the right or in front of him. So, if you run in a circle, you will beat him. That's, that's the rule for all bosses ever. But, this guy requires a special circle, a counterclockwise circle. And then, he'll always fire away from you, I think. Yeah, see, just like that. So, if you ever face a steel golem in your life, you know, maybe in this game, or maybe on the playground, or maybe in the office, just remember, counterclockwise circles. Ooh, okay, now this is the part where I'm put to the test. Will counterclockwise circles still hold their water? Will I still be the... I, I don't know what I am. Oh, yes. Counterclockwise circles, you're not failing me yet. And I appreciate it so much, so much. Where are you? Oh, dang it, I didn't hold it. I need to hold it when I have to go pee, and then... I won't get in trouble with my teacher. Ooh, no. Uh, just one more hit. Yes! How do I know it was one more hit? I don't know. Honestly, that was luck. But, whoa, we got a ton of gold, and I'm not going to get it all in time. But that's okay. Because money... Oh, well, I did. And look, we got an apple. An apple a day keeps the dog... I'm holding the soccer ball. What kind of striker am I? Don't you know that is illegal in the game of soccer? Gosh. Man, what a stupid soccer player. Life up get. Oh yeah. All right. That was that was a delayed life up get. Exclamation. Wow. Who's this dude? He's the holder of the yellow orb. Got the orange orb. Okay, I can't tell my primary colors. Well, orange isn't a primary color. You did it, Master David. It's the orb. The monster must have been guarding it for a long time. That's because it's no wonder he the thieves never said a chance. Oh yeah, there were thieves here, weren't there? But the master has slain the beast. As only a true hero could. Aww, you're being too generous. Your strength is without limit, master. I don't have a life limit either, apparently. Now all I have to do is find the sage, but where could he be? I hope the monster didn't... Dot, dot, dot. N no. Could it be? Let's look for clues. I mean, it couldn't be. I got a wind wing. That's a clue. It tells me, let's go home. Okay, so I gotta find the, find the sage, because there's no way he could be dead. Because, uh... This is a kid's game, right? I don't know, uh, let's use the revealing power... No, it doesn't work. Let's use the reflect power on my soccer ball self. That's not doing us anything. Uh, I would use bombs. I got 19 of them. Why not? Let's see if the sage lies behind any of these doors. By doors, I mean walls. Uh, don't get those confused too much or you'll have a lot of trouble in life. Uh, hookshot, I got you in this, uh, in this temple. What if I... Oh, wait, can I push you? Can I push this thing out of the way? Maybe? No. Huh. Well, uh... Sorry, fairy chick, but he's not in here. Lee? That's your name, yeah, Lee. Lee the fairy. Fair, fair Lee. Well, I don't know. I don't want to fight that golem dude again. Uh, the end? I don't know. Is he outside the temple? Surely, because... I can't just, like, leave it at this, because I don't know where I'm going next. But, uh, maybe he's outside the temple. I hope so. Uh, am I the one that brought back the desert treasure? Yes, I am. I brought back some treasure. Yes, Master David found the orb. Ah, that is indeed the orange orb. I can tell, because it's orange. You can beat the stone golem naturally. I'm a hero that can repel any monster with my giant bald spot. 
Oh, ho, ho. I have, you have quite a sidekick here. Fairies aren't usually so trusting. You must be truly extraordinary. I've been waiting for someone like you. You mean, you're the sage? Gasp! Ho, ho, ho. That's right. I'm Octane, the Santa Sage. Well done, David. I will grant you the power of the orange orb. Hero! Oh my gosh, it's... We're gonna play, uh... It's, uh... Wait, what? Normal map? <laughs> it looks more like a heartbeat sensor to me. The spell could stick shockwaves to strike around foes. Master David, don't get it. He's... It's called... I don't get it. It's called normal map. But it makes shockwaves. Can't these spells be consistent? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, have you been to Lake Garland? 